did a book called uh, Museum Quilts, and in it we were looking at all the wonderful uh, vintage quilts in the Victoria and Albert Museum in London, and this was one of the most spectacular, very, very detailed kind of sampler quilt, and uh, it was fun doing it in very restrained colors for me. Um, but around the corner here, we have one of the first quilts that I made using my hand-woven stripes from India. And so this is um, taking the stripes and doing what I call handkerchief corners. And this is on the cover of a book called Patchwork that you did with Liza Pryor Lucy. Passionate. Passionate Patchwork. Yeah. Uh, and how did this quilt come about? The, the way this quilt happened is that we were doing the outside bits and we were cutting away all the bits that are inside. And I said, I love those in that scale. So we picked those to be the middle of our quilt. It was just a kind of spontaneous design decision. And here we've got just wonderful kind of stars bursting into the uh, sashing on this quilt. It's a good way to use nice big prints, which I love. So uh, all the big scale prints are kind of framed. And this was featured on the cover of Quilts in an English Village? There was a version of it, ah, yes, so yes. So this is a, a second version. And uh, let's see what that's lined with. Oh yes, lined with our lotus leaf. 108 inch wide backing. And this was one that was in a book called um, Simple Shapes Spectacular Quilts, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Which seems to be a, a popular one with a lot of people. Yes, yes. The, when I did this book, somebody said, so far you've been doing recipe books. This is the art of cooking because we broke down each chapter into shapes, and this was the diamond um, chapter. So you can see all these r incredible stars. I took that from a design that I saw in an Australian quilt, vintage quilt. Um, what I like to think about with these quilts is rather than being um, in, 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 can't find the world, intimidated by the overall finishing, break it down into blocks, into smaller units. And, you know, you do this one, you do that one, and that one, and then, lo and behold, you'll have enough together to make your own quilt. Yeah, it's all made with diamonds, you know, the same shape diamond. And as you say, diamonds are a girl's best friend. This is a quilt designed by Liza Lucy, taking all of our kind of high pastel colors and uh, doing it. And this was in a book called, uh, was it Quilt in Ireland? Yes, Quilt in Quilts Ireland. In Ireland. And we photographed this on a wonderful hand-painted house that was all filled with little folk art painting. And it went perfectly with this coloring. And the fabric in the background here, which sort of affected the overall feel of the quilt. Paperweight. Is one of your, uh, it's been in the collection for over 20 yeah, years. Yeah. It's just a design that is so useful in um, that particular yeah. colorway. Because we have classics, uh, we are able to hold on to these uh, fabrics for years and years, which is very unusual in this market. So, coming along here, this was a quilt made here in Texas by the most wonderful collection of applique artists who gathered together and carried out my designs, which uh, was just fantastic to have that collaboration. What was the original inspiration for this? Yeah, the original inspiration was a vintage quilt called um, Bird of Paradise. Bird of Paradise. Yeah. Yes. Which is an antique quilt and it's kind of brown and it's typically antiqued. Um, what Cave did was sat down and just drew out a line drawing of a leaf kind of pattern applique and then the stitches chose fabric and did each block individually by taking case line drawing and fitting in fabrics yeah. and then choosing this pug dot in the background. Yeah. Um, so Instead of a white fabric, we used a nice so blue polka dot. So each did a block each separately and then pull it together and 
Um, what I'm thrilled is that the International Festival of Quilts here in Houston used this quilt to um, be the um, poster image yes. to promote the yes. show. So, yeah. Yeah, of this uh, quilt festival. This so. is a quilt inspired by an old vintage uh, blanket created by uh, priests in um, Tibet. So it's old Tibetan uh, robes that are salvaged and little bits of brocade and so forth were used. So here I've used all of my prints to kind of get the same atmosphere as that wonderful old antique. We give workshops on this structure and it's really quite a simple straightforward structure. Over the overall quilt will look quite intimidating but you know you've got large squares, large square then you've got three medium sized squares then it's lined with three smaller size yeah, it's squares. done in columns which are very easy to construct and sew together and uh, it's called sunlight in the forest and what what i particularly love about this quilt is there's a lot of brown quilts out in the world and they can be a bit of a yawn whereas i when you look at this you just go back and back and back and look at it with intrigue but i particularly enjoy the way that the border just allows your eye to keep on flowing out. It's not framed and fenced in. So the design just keeps on rolling out and rolling out and it's, it's a great one. Whereas this one Kev's going to show you now yeah. just happens to be one of my favorites because yeah. I think it looks like Indian feathers. This is called Big Bang for obvious reasons. It's a star that just keeps on going, all made with the same uh, shaped diamond um, and it's an interesting collection of fabrics. These are, these are amazing history for me, looking back at all the collections we've done through the years and that particular time when I was doing these particular prints. And this particular kind of palette, I think would be so suitable for a white bedroom, you know, where you have low contrast, it'd just be very peaceful and welcoming, whereas Shabby chic. something like this kind of palette, I'd want to paint the bedroom walls a color so it was like or a, a log cabin, how about? Yeah, or in a log cabin in the deepest depths of the forest or something. But this one is just, it, it just oozes um, calmness, I think. And I, I love the way that Cave incorporated the pink, which just gives it a little tickle, you know, just a nice little lift. It's funny you see those fabrics again. I know, it? I know. It's a, the combination of smaller scale prints yeah. with stripes. Yeah. I love it. It's just, it is one of my favorites. Yeah. I'm not supposed to have a favorite, but there you go. <laughs> so here we've got another uh, playing with these wonderful handwoven stripes from India. And this one is based on uh, the wonderful family of knitters called Missoni in Italy. Uh, they do zigzags as their sort of signature. And uh, we took that idea from them and did it all in our stripes. So this is called Rosita because it's after Rosita Missoni. So if you look at this carefully, it's all diamonds on the side yeah. that form the ripples. So if you come in closely, you can see you have diamond, 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 diamond. Yeah. And that's called, that's from the chevron. But the secret of it is, it is you have to take enough stripes and then in between they've played with a solid here and a, a darker solid, lighter yeah. solid, just to break up the and, stripes. And those solids are shot cottons. And again, it doesn't have, as oops, it doesn't have a, a hard border. It just has a border that allows your attention to keep flowing out, which is really important. Yeah. And then for our last number here, we have the jewel window blind, and this is one of the first quilts that we did, which ended up being on the cover of my very first book, and um, it's made with everybody else's fabrics, because at that point in life, I didn't, hadn't designed any fabrics. So um, this is kind of real history, looking at what we could find, these tiny little scale prints, uh, which I went on to do much bigger scale. But uh, it's fun to look back at this nice, bright jewel of a quilt. So one of our thrills about being here in Houston is 
going around the show and seeing how other people have used our fabric in their own medium. And it's incredible market research to see how people cut up our fabric, what works best, and also looking at other quilts and seeing why they're not using our fabric. Um, yeah, but, but the best thing is seeing people dressed in our fabrics and seeing these wonderful prints and great big expanses. Well, like this, yeah. 